Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode learning SketchUp, I want to introduce you to the outliner window. This is a very important window, but people don't use it that much. The good thing about this window is going to give you a lot of information about the object or the geometry that you are creating. And it's going to give you a better overview and an access or control to your geometry. Let's jump into SketchUp so we can take a look at it. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at the outliner window. So this is a window that most people haven't used it or they're not familiar with it, but I think it is a great tool that's going to help you more organize and manage the model. So if you ask me what is the outliner, I would say it displays hierarchical structure of objects, right? It shows groups, it shows components, it shows section plane, and also allow you to navigate the names by filtering it. You can find components, restructure the model hierarchy, and also is going to give you control over the visibility of all the object in your model. Um, so this is the panel of tags. So you can see we have all of these objects drawn over here. We have them on the tags. If you do not have the outliner, you can go to the default tray, right click, manage. And then right here, you can see the outliner. You can check the box and then close and then basically shows up as you can see it's basically giving you the visibility and also is going to give you an opportunity to see what is the structure of the objects in your model and right off the bat you can see uh, a kind of a dot dotted stuff and then just like square and this so we know this is the section plane kind of simple which is these two these are all the components. So if you have any object created as a component and you don't know if that's a component or not, Outliner is going to tell you right away what those items are. So these are with this shape is a component. This is, is the group. Uh, the good thing about this is you only can see groups, components, and section plane. And if you basically it can hide and unhide everything in your model. So let's say I'm going to hide all of this. This is going to tell me if I do not have anything as a component or as an, a group is going to show up over here because I do not have it here under my component, right? So let me just turn everything on. You'll be able to kind of see everything goes on. There you go. So first, I think tip would be it's going to give you the control over the structure of the model, all of groups, components, section planes. Um, you can see the two different items right here. So what I have over here is as soon as I click on everything, you can see it's going to be highlighted in my model. So this is the F1, which is my foundation one, is these three items. So you can see most of the time people try to select a group or component and go within the group or component trying to make changes. They're not selecting the whole thing and affecting other objects. This is a great tool to go within the component and the group and then start working on that object only and it's going to give you that visibility of exactly what those items are right now you can see a little bit difference over here so you can see the f1 is a group but these little ones in component what does that mean is i created all of these foundation you can see one by one as a component and then i put those three in a group under the foundation one so if i want to Basically, turn this off is going to take off the whole thing. If I want to turn them off one by one, I'll be able to do it. We can do the same thing right here. So I have foundation two, 
right so all of these foundations that you can see right there it's basically sub right i didn't create a group for them and i want you guys to see the difference between if you have just a component by itself or you have a group of object excavation would be just this side right there that you can kind of click on it lay down area one by one and if i basically put all of these as a group uh, it basically you can see it right away put all the lay down areas under the group for me so so each lay down area which is each of these is one group and then all three of them is a group as well we have the gates uh, we have the fence as I click on those and also you can see the section plane you can group all your section plane or you can basically see them so the, the good thing about this is First of all, you can hide and unhide. You can see the difference between components and group. Uh, you can organize them. You can put everything under the, the folder if you want to group all of the component. And the main part for me is when I click on them, it basically take me directly into the model or into an object so I can make changes. Because sometimes people are having problem making changes. So if I just click, one click is not gonna go inside the fence group for me to make changes. I have to double click so I can go make changes. But if I click on this right away, it basically take me into that group and I'll be able to make changes within those groups. So you can see I kind of double click on these items and it's gonna give you. You can also change the name if you want and then also you can see what it is like even if i see this is created i don't know what it is i can select and it basically shows me this is that um header right there that i can see it with its dog so the main thing with the outliner as i mentioned it's another tool that can help you uh, see the structure of the object you can see the difference between group and component you can organize all the items that you created as a component collect them as a group or just separate them as a separate standalone component and it's give you a bit of visibility over the model for you this is another tool you can kind of use it this is just uh, just the initial introduction to the outliner i want you guys to understand what it is it's over there if you have a lot of objects looking for something looking to turn stuff on and off you can see what's been component what's a group how they created you'll be able to basically address all of this and each one of these items if you right click on it is going to give you the accessibility to do because this i know the foundation is component so if i right click on the component it basically give me all the options that i can work i can change the axis i can make it unique i can edit the component i can explode it and that's going to happen with the group as well so if i go on the group uh you can lock hide erase edit the group explode turn the group into a component and all the other options that i have so it is a great panel to give you a visibility and control over your object and structure in your model hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you like the content please make sure to subscribe and leave a like and i will see you guys in the next video Thanks for watching.